I love the Kentucky Derby. We are two days away from the Derby and the fashion is just as eye catching as the horses themselves, especially the hats. They are statement pieces full of design elements and in some cases really big. This morning we asked an expert in Derby fashion to join us. Oh yeah, and we've got Denise Snyder who owns Mariel Boutique in Cherry Creek with us. You're really the expert on all things Derby fashion, especially the hats. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. so you brought in several of the hats that you have there. Yes. Everything from fascinators to the big hats here. What makes them so popular every year? Well, I think, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while, but they just see, they seem to be getting more and more popular. I think people are really finally getting used to wear a hat. Mm -hmm. And the Derby has just gotten so huge, especially in Denver. Yeah. There's lots of parties here, too. I know. I've been looking at all the different things happening this weekend, which is so exciting. Talk to us about what trends you're seeing this year in the fasteners and hats. Well, I mean, lots of um, feathers, ostrich feathers, tulle, um, flowers, some beads. I mean, there's just a lot of almost anything. I like the anymore. butterflies on yours. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is stunning. Yeah. Uh, so I have a fascinator on. So a fascinator is essentially like the headband piece of it, right? Yeah. Okay. So a fascinator is a hat on a headband. Okay. <laughs> and they're really easy to wear. That's what I have on. Yeah. And I'm going to a luncheon this afternoon, and it's just, you know, they're great for photos. They're easy to wear. You mm -hmm. can wear them all day. You know, some of the big ones, I don't know if you can handle all day. And this is a hat. Is there a right way or a wrong way to wear these? Okay. So the way to put, can I show yes. the viewers? Because this is very important. Okay. You start from the back of the head, and then you pull it down. And then you tilt it to the side. So it's okay. like a sphere in your head. You never go straight dead on. Ah. But see the sphere and how pretty it frames the face. And then it's great for photos. And it does look very <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm official. I'm official. <laughs> <laughs> I also feel because of all of the things that have been happening with the royals in recent years, and mm -hmm. of course this is a big trend for them too, this has become even more popular. Yes. Yeah, I think the royals are the ones that really put the fascinators on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you decide, like, how, how would you match people up with the hats and the fascinators, and how do they pick? So when you come in, we look at your face, the color of your eyes, your um, hair, how much hair. I mean, there's a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hair. You just <laughs> get a different size hat, but no, it's hat, hair, eyes. Um, a a more of... goes into it than we would probably yeah. think. Yeah. Now, are you like, hey, let's start with the hat or the fascinator and let's create your outfit mm. beyond that? Like, what, 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 you, what is your vision for the look? Well, it's always easier to have the hat and yeah. create the dress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most people come in, they've got this dress. And, you know, there's only so many colors that look great. Right. With it. But um, no, we, we also are full service. So we have dresses, hats, jewelry, one stop shoes, shop, everything. The whole so, thing. So, yeah. This may be a funny question, but is there such thing as too big? Mm. No. Uh, no. No. Yes. And <laughs> the southern but, way, you know, nothing's too big. The Derby, uh, I guess, the um, what they throughout the years, they said, you know, the bigger the hat, the better luck you'll have. Oh. So that is something that, you know, there's lots of big hats. You know, in the it's South, great. they say, what, the higher the hair, the closer to God. So, you know, yeah. all good things. Yeah. I better get a big hat because I plan on doing some betting. Are you doing weekend. some betting? Absolutely. Okay. Fun story. My great grandma, my Nana Birdie, what was her name? She actually kind of made like a retirement living off of going to the races. Oh, my gosh. She'd pack a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, get on the senior living bus and <laughs> head on down to the tracks. Yeah. And she'd bet. And she was really good at it. Oh, so you got, awesome. you got some luck in your blood there. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I get into the derby <laughs> oh. every year. So I'm going to need a hat for this. Yes. Year. Yes. Thank you so Denise, much for thank coming you. in today. So, thank you fun. so much. fun. Best of luck if you're putting some money down. That's right. <laughs>